Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter, Ali LaForce. It's the Sacramento Kings taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Let's check out Sacramento's starting lineup. Over to the wing. Here's Gugliotta. Misses off the left iron. Here's Robertson. Takes a three. Connects from downtown. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Here's Cassell. And he banks in the layup. The defense kind of opened up for him, and he took full advantage. And that'll be Sacramento's ball as it goes out of bounds. King's able to keep possession here. Here's Robertson. 4-3. Another three for Sacramento. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Here's Garnett. Count it. Good. Inside, Garnett runs into some good coverage, but he keeps his composure, stays calm, and gets by it. Here's Richmond. And there are the Kings with another bucket. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. Cassell passes to Garnett. Left side love. The three-pointer off the mark. Pass to Stoyakovic. It's rebounded by Gugliotta. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. Sacramento foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Love passes to Cassell. Shots blocked. How about the denial from Weber? Boy, I love when he's active on the defensive end like that. Robertson's shot is off. To the left wing. Here's Cassell. Outside Love. Six to shoot. Here's Garnett. Another miss by Minnesota. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. The shot by Richmond, no good. The Timberwolves trail. To the inside. And it's Love missing. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Here's Robertson. Fires in the triple. Nine points in the game. Gotta D him up better than that. He's simply too good from beyond the arc. Minnesota calls timeout. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, and you know, that's gonna be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Here's Love. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Set him up. Love will knock him down. Terrific shooter there off the catch. And here are the Kings now. Pass to Robertson. Puts up a deep three. And the Kings with another three. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. And that one's good. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Here's Cassell. To the middle. Here's Love. Second shot opportunity. It's hauled in by Lucas. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. 
Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. And so it's Minnesota with it. The Kings getting their last shot to go. Cassell passes to Zerbiak. Yes, it's good. Well, I love Sam Cassell's unselfishness. Phenomenal job getting it to the open guy. So it's Sacramento now. It's a 10-point game. Here's Robertson. And the Kings with another three. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. And I like the strategy. It's a great strategy. Bury those threes early, and it'll open up the inside for them later on. Here's Garnett. That one misses. He's one for three. And pushing it up. Here's Sacramento. Here's Lucas. Love grabs the miss. And the Timberwolves with possession here. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Probably not the shot they had in mind, but you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Basket counts. Richmond's got six. Boy, you can just see it in Weber's approach. He's got excellent vision of the court, always looking for passing alleys when they're available. Throws it up high. Throw it down on the lob. Kevin Garnett's teammates trust him to throw it down. That's why they lob it his way with confidence. That one's good by Stoyakovic. And, and just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. Here's Cassell. Here's Love. The shot, no good. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Stoyakovich, no good. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Kings. Here's Richmond. Off the inbound. No good. He got it up. He's off on that one. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. The Kings on top, up by 15. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. quarter it's been a lopsided game we'll see if that changes here in the second and for the kings here they've been putting on a show guys great offensive energy in that period they're clearly on a mission yeah i agree that was a flawless offensive performance so far i mean the shots have been falling they're making good decisions that's a nice recipe there major dominance and it comes so easily for him fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor and for sacramento Here's Marbury, top of the key, and it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Marbury's got his first points of the game. Marbury doing a great job breaking down the defense and using his creativity to get a good shot. And for Minnesota, and that one drops. The Timberwolves really having a tough go here. Pass to Leitner. Rebound by the Kings. Lucas has got four rebounds now. Here's Richmond. And another basket for Sacramento. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. Boy, I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality shots, not wasting possessions. And that one's good. Cassell. Here's Robertson. He's got 18. Pass to Richmond. A minute and a half gone in the second quarter. And a missed layup. And the Timberwolves with possession here. They trail by 18. Here's Lucas. Yet to see a basket. And out of bounds. Minnesota will have it.
Now the Timberwolves with it. Pass to Ryder. Here's Brandon. Here's West. And he gets the bucket. Boy, I love how Brandon sets the table for his guys. Really the quintessential point guard. Gets the ball to his open teammate. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Man, the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Both shots good from the strike. What's so impressive about Stojakovic is how lethal a shooter he is, and he's somebody that rarely misses from the charity strike. Pass to Garnett. And he knocks it down. He's three of five now from the floor. Garnett's gone three for five shooting from the floor. Here's Richmond. That went off the back iron and out. It can be tough to find space in the mid-range area. Probably should have passed that one up. West. And the three off target. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. That one's good by Stojakovic. Nice work that time from Peja Stojakovic, keeping his focus, even though the defense was pretty physical with him. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Some fans do question the level of play in the regular season, but all-star Kevin Durant said, quote, they only see us when the games come on, but the travel, the practices, the shoot-arounds, we're constantly moving, so appreciate the grind. Every game is not going to be a high-intensity playoff game. We go as hard as our bodies allow us to go. Brian? Yeah, interesting point there, Allie. Thank you. Inside. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes play. Here's Garnett. Six points for him. Pass to Ryder. Just five on the clock. Into the lane. Here's Gugliata. Tries again. And it's good on the lay-in. Gugliata's got his first bucket in this one. You know, KG has never been a selfish player, especially when he sees another guy who is this ready to shoot. He'll get it to him. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Yo, watch it! 143 left in the second quarter, and the basket is good. In the NBA, you just can't let guys get to the rim. Here's Robertson. Sinks it from distance. He's got 24. And you know, for the big old tonight, doesn't really matter. Inside, outside, well defended or not, he's scoring at will. Here's Brandon. Here's Ryder. Again, the Timberwolves score. Here's Robertson. 24 points for him. Here's Stojakovic. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Stojakovic, so hard to defend because he's got a great touch and a huge frame. He's perfect from the line this time. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. Pass to Love. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You know, as a big guy who can stretch the floor, Kevin Love has a lot of value utility. I mean, guys who can make an impact down low and help you space the floor to free up others, that's... um. A nice addition. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Towns has checked in. 54 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Lucas. Down low from seven feet. Oh, it's blocked by Towns. Prime time, big time defense from Towns. And here's Rubio. Love inside. Weber pulls it in. 
Weber's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Richmond. Sinks that one. Now shooting five of ten and looking sharp. There's some mass and density to Richmond. Not the guy you want backing you down inside. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Man, what focus. I mean, the hoop and the harm. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, great concentration there. Hung in there. He didn't let that contact throw him off at all. Stayed focused on the rim. Knew he was going to get hit and still was able to finish. Here's Weber. Not going to go that time. And some solid defense from Towns. Here's Butler. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Oh, I like how Butler uses his body in the paint. Excellent at forcing the issue and getting the call close to the rack. Butler hits them both. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. It's stolen by Love. Ooh, it's stolen away. And so it's Sacramento going into the break up 12. They just can't miss right now. The Kings 46. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It's Sacramento with the advantage at the half. They are leading by 12. Jack, how do you think Sacramento play? Well, they should. And that's going to... And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And it's Sacramento's ball on the court for Sacramento. Pass to Lucas. Over Love. Lucas can't get it to go. And now the T-Wolves on the break. And the shot goes. Cassell's got six points. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. I love it. Just thumbing his nose at the height disadvantage. He's able to get the space he needs and convert. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. Love passes to Zerbiak. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Zerbiak's gone one for three from the field here. Here's Richmond. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. 12 points for him. And, you know, they'll take the points, but I'm sure Coach would prefer a higher percentage look next time. Out to the wing. Zerbiak, the pass to Cassell. Pass to Garnett. Rebound by the Kings. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. Just over a minute and a half played in the third. Cassell passes to Gugliana. Oh, no good. Unable to end this run. To the paint. Here's Lucas. That one drops for him. Lucas has got his first two points. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Love passes to Gugliano. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. You know, Love is, as we've seen, a solid passer for a big man. Great at breaking down the defense and firing the pass to an open teammate. Here's Lucas. Again, the king score. Since half, there's been a stark contrast between these teams. I'm talking about efficiency at the offensive end. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. First team foul. Substitution for your Timberwolves. Wolves. 
Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Here's Marbury. It's hauled in by Lucas. Lucas has got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Richmond. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. So easy to appreciate Richmond. I mean, he's an elite scorer who's really comfortable getting buckets from anywhere and everywhere. And he makes both free throws. And Minnesota calls time here. Minnesota with a ball. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. And that one's good. Cassell. So good at anticipating and feeling things on the floor. Cassell sees an opportunity coming and then takes advantage. Down low. Pass to Leitner. Here's Cassell. Marbury, the pass to Garnett. Sacramento grabs the miss. Weber's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Soft touch off the glass. And Sacramento leads by 21. Credit them for making the right halftime adjustments. You know, they came out of the locker room, revved up the gas pedal, and haven't slowed down yet. Here's Leitner. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. Just keeping things simple on offense. Leitner capitalizing in close. Weber passes to Lucas. There's the three. And the Kings with another three. Imagine how much bigger this lead might be if he were a little more selfish. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Brian Commissioner Adam Silver has done a 180. Once in favor of raising the NBA age limit to 20, he now supports lowering it back to 18. He said it's the right thing to do, adding that the opportunity to work with players at a younger age on not just skills, but mental health, diet, character, and values could be in everyone's best interest. BA? Well, it didn't happen yet, Allie. We'll see. Here's Cassell. Tipped. And he gets it back. Darn it. That's good. We've got 123 left in the third. To the inside, Richmond. Ooh, he's now 7 for 12. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for Sacramento. Yeah, they've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggression. You know, something else, guys? You know, they came out of that tunnel sprinting in a full stride sprint. That translated to the floor and lots of success in the fast break game. Lucas can't get it to go. Here's Marbury. Pass to Gugliata. From downtown, drains the triple. Gugliata's got five points now in the quarter. Impressive offensive versatility for big. He can show you a variety of looks. Here's Lucas. Three-pointer, no good. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Marbury. Another shot. 
The rebound by Robertson. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Here's Garnett. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. Makes his selection just in time. Well done. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept his cool and splashed it. And so it's Sacramento sitting on a comfortable 21-point lead at the end of the... It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Kevin Love out there with Jimmy Butler. Then it's Carl Anthony Towns. Then there's Ricky Rubio. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Butler passes to Rubio. To the middle. Here's Towns. That one falls. Coming off Rubio's feed. Carl Anthony Towns finishing through contact there. Pass to Bibby. Here's Divac. Fox deciding where to go with it. Takes the three, and the three-pointer goes. And Sacramento leads by 20. Hey, you leave him open, he's going to make the defense pay for that level of disrespect. Back to Rubio. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Had the space there, but it's offline. Yikes, how did he miss that? I mean, he makes nine out of ten of those. Birdsong, shot is off. He was so well positioned to interfere with the shot. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. Fox for three. And no good. And so it's Butler who brings up the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They trail by 18. Towns goes back up. He got a piece of it. Fox with the ball. Now Rubio defending. Fox outside. The three is up. Again, the miss by the Kings. Fox has gone just one for four so far. Here's Butler. The shot comes out. Johnson with the defensive effort. And Sacramento has possession. Inside. Here's Fox. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Amongst the best passing centers in the game, Divac always knows where to move the rock. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Rubio passes to Towns. And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. Exactly what they needed from Towns. Using his size and strength to box out and keep that play alive. Box for three. Sinks the tray. And Sacramento leads by 21. The defense takes a chance, leaves him open at the arc, and he capitalizes. Here's Rubio. Oh, and Fox with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Towns. On offense, here are the Kings. Fox, the pass to Birdsong. Let's it fly. Fox outside. Six on the shot clock. Off target with the three. Pass to Zerbiak. Here's Brandon. He's covered by Fox. The shot by Towns. No good. They are blowing this one open. Maybe the only question is how big will this lead grow? Birdsong. And he makes it on the layup. Some fire from Birdsong inside. Working hard to get his shot. So it's Minnesota now. 
Here's Zerbiak. Oh, not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. Zerbiak's got six in the quarter. Zerbiak's gone four for six from the floor here tonight. Three-pointer, Fox. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Gugliotta's got six rebounds in the game. Sacramento grabs the miss. Devon's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Birdsong. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. He slams it home and gets some extra camera time chilling on the rim. <laughs> yeah, he did spend a little time up there, didn't he? The refs are much more lenient with that kind of situation than they used to be. Here's Brandon. Oh, and Johnson with a block. Here's Birdsong. Rebound Minnesota. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Over to the left wing. Here's Zerbiak. Buries it from three. Zerbiak's got nine points here in the second half. I love how quick Zerbiak is. I mean, doesn't waste any time getting his shot off. That quick release I'm talking about. Catch and shoot is right in his wheelhouse. Now the Timberwolves with it. Here's the three. Here's Towns. Missed inside. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. Three-pointer, Fox. And another shot. Can't get the layup. And Minnesota has possession. Here's Brandon. Banked it in off the glass. High percentage play. He's excellent around the rim. Sacramento in total control. To the middle. To the wing on the left. The three. Pass to Bibby. Fox outside. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Gugliotta. Here's Brandon. So it's the Kings winning this one easily. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.